hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will make the player look towards the obstacle while performing parkour i will show you what i mean but first of all make sure that you select both of the crates okay and make the crate size or you can say the scale of the crate as 3 0 0.52 and change this one to 3 1 and 2 okay then after that if we play our game so now if we try to perform parkour from the side as you can see the player just move to that side okay and if we perform it right here as you can see the player perform parkour on the side but what we want that whenever we are in this direction or you can say the player is facing the right or a left side and then if we want to perform parkour we want the player to look towards the obstacle like this and then perform the parkour like this okay from the front if we perform it right here as you can see okay so we want to perform the parkour while the player looking at the obstacle okay so let me now close the game and open up text editor and on the parkour controller script right here now we will remove this wait for second because we will now be delaying our method by using the while loop okay and between that delay we will make the player look towards the obstacle okay so for creating a while loop first of all we need to create a float by the name of timer counter and this will be equals to 0 f or you can say zero then we will create a while loop in which we will say that if the timer counter is less than equals to animation state dot length then what we will do we will make the timer counter plus equals to time dot delta time then after this we will make the player look towards the obstacle and then at the end we will say yield return null that is it then on our new parkour action script right here at the top let's create a serialize field this will be of type bool by the name of look at obstacle then right down below we will create a quadronian by the name of required rotation and this will be get and then we will say set then after this if condition we will create another if condition and in that we will say if look at obstacle is true then what we want to do we will say require rotation equals to quadronian dot look rotation and then we will say minus hit info okay this is this obstacle info which is by the name of hit info and then we will say dot hit info dot normal okay and this hit info dot normal is coming from the environment checker so what this uh, whole code will do is it will basically get the player current rotation and then it will change or you can say it will set that rotation to our desired rotation or you can say the rotation we want which will be the rotation in which the player will look towards the obstacle before performing parkour okay and if you guys are confusing between this hit info because it's the same name so what we will do in here is we will change this to hit data actually okay so let's change that to hit data right here as well and then right here as well then right here as you know that the look at obstacle is a serialized field and we can't access this look at obstacle outside this new parkour action so what we want to do is we will create a property for this so we will say public bool 
let's name this as look at obstacle as well but the L in this look at obstacle will be capital and then this will be equals to look at obstacle okay that is it then if we get back right here to the parkour controller script right here we will create a if condition in which we will say action dot look at obstacle okay this is this property which we created so if action dot look at obstacle is true then what we want to do we want to rotate the player towards the obstacle so for that we will say quaternion dot rotate towards we want to rotate the transform dot rotation towards the action dot required rotation then we want to limit this rotation by the rotation speed which is on the player script right here or rot speed and as you know that we already have a reference to the player script on the parkour controller script so we will simply say player script dot rotation speed and let's multiply that by time dot delta time that is it and right here at the top make sure that you set the transform dot rotation of the player to this line okay that is it so just simply save the script get back to unity and now if we click on our scripts folder then in the player parkour actions right here you will see these two action and on them we have this look at obstacle box so now to whatever parkour action you want to add this look at obstacle functionality just simply check this box okay on that parkour action and then this functionality will be added to that parkour action and when the player perform that parkour action the player will rotate towards the obstacle before performing the parkour okay that is the reason we created this look at obstacle pool right there and then according to this look at obstacle pool we are simply rotating the player towards the obstacle before performing the parkour okay we now have a while loop to delay the execution and make the player rotate towards the obstacle okay so just simply select your parkour actions on which you want to look at the obstacle then when you check that then simply play the game and let's get closer to the object right here and now if we perform parkour while looking there as you can see the player rotate towards the obstacle as you can see okay if you notice it as you can see the player first of all rotates the rotate towards the obstacle as you can see okay and if we check it right here as you can see the player is looking towards the obstacle okay the player fell down but don't worry as i told you we will be solving this issue when we add target matching but now as you can see the player first look at the obstacle then perform the parkour and now the player is right there okay so in this way you can add this look at obstacle functionality